Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make the Photoshop CS3 icon in Photoshop. First we're going to go to File, New, make a new canvas, whatever size you want. I'm doing mine 500 by 500 pixels. Click OK. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your layer button and create a new layer. Once that's done we're going to go to our rectangular marquee tool hold down shift and make the selection slightly smaller than the canvas itself once we've got that we're going to go to our gradient tool click on the box that appears here and we're going to set it from uh, foreground to background we're going to change the background color by double clicking on this marker right here we're going to change it to a darker blue so in this little box here enter the following code 15396 f okay we've got our dark blue we still need our lighter color though double click on the foreground color it'll bring you up with this box and in here we're going to enter 3070CA Okay, we've got our lighter colour. Click OK. And from the bottom right of the selection, we're going to hold Shift and drag diagonally to the top left of our selection. Now we've got the nice background colour that the CS3 icon has. We can go ahead and hit Command D or Control D to deselect. Next we're going to go to our text button, make a nice big text box and type in type in the letters you want. Okay. In this case the P is caps and the S is not. Go over to your character button right here, click on it, and it'll bring you up with this uh, list of settings. You want the font size to be Verdana you want the font style to be regular you can change the font size depending on how big your canvas is or how big your selection is I'm gonna have mine at 50 that looks right and you want the uh, text height to be a hundred and fifty percent text width to be a hundred percent and the rest can just be the defaults now drag it into the middle you can use your guides to do this I'm just roughly doing it okay that looks about right now on the text layer we're going to go up to layer styles and we're going to go to gradient I know it doesn't look like it has a gradient on the actual um, icon but it actually does have a very subtle one so click on the gradient box here um, make sure it's set foreground to background change the uh, foreground color by double clicking on it and in this box we're going to enter C A D 2 D E click OK and on the background color we're going to go double click and change this box here to F 7 F 9 F B OK now we have our gradient click OK right there's one more thing we still need to do click on layer 1 and go to layer layer, layer style and add a default drop shadow so all the default settings click OK now that is the Photoshop CS3 icon however there is one more thing we can add to make it look in my opinion slightly better what we're going to do is go zoom out so hit Z on your keypad alt and click right now if you're on layer one hold control or command and click the little um, thumbnail here it will select the background that we've made now we want to go to our elliptical marquee tool hold down alt or option and shift and drag it about halfway down the icon now you can see this selection 
it's joined onto our previous selection. From here we're going to go to our gradient tool again, click the box here, this time make sure it said foreground to transparent and make sure the foreground color is set to white ok then we're going to hit ok now you're going to drag your gradient while holding shift from just above the selection to just below the selection that will add a nice highlight I mean you can alter it depending on how strong you want the highlight but at the moment that looks quite good so hit command or control D and it will deselect we can zoom back in and there you have it the Photoshop CS3 icon thank you for watching